Welcome OTE fans to Atlanta, Georgia, as we're here for another great matchup at Overtime Elite. We got the Word of God Holy Rams facing off against the Cold Hearts. Holy Hearts are welcoming a new squad out here. I'm your guy Overtime Tom. I'm here with Overtime Day. In a little bit, we'll be joined by Sniper Jones on Vibe Cam. You know, the Cold Hearts that come into this game, they didn't play last night. They're the only team that hasn't played this weekend, but they have a super complete team. Maybe the best team in all of Overtime Elite. Word of God, on the other hand, took a, took a tough loss last night. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. I couldn't be more excited for this. First time seeing the Cold Hearts play this weekend. We were at Cold Hearts practice a little bit later in the week. They had a really impressive practice. Honestly, looked like the best OTE team from all the practices that, and games that we saw. Really excited to always watch a coach Fanning-led yep. team because <laughs> They play a, a, a very pro-style offense, and, and they had the scores to do that. They're averaging 87 points this preseason. They're getting contributions from all over the place. Guys like Cannon Catchings, Adam Umidouche, they have scores at all three levels, and they're getting it done so far in the preseason. Yeah, you mentioned Cannon, a Purdue commit, one of the best players out here at Overtime Elite. He's about 6'8", 6'9", small forward. He's a great shooter. He's fifth in OTE in scoring at 15.1 points per game. But honestly, I think that's more because he has so many good players around him. If Cannon needs to go off and drop a 30 ball, he's very, very capable. He can get his shot in any way possible. Like, I always feel like at this level, there's guys who need someone else to create a shot for them, right. and guys who can go get their own. He can go get their own. He's a number 15th ranked player in class of 2024. And someone else I'm looking forward to is Big John Bull. 10.7 rebounds per game so far in the preseason. That second OTE, he had a great matchup a couple weeks ago uh, against Cameron Boozer. Yep. Really impressive defensive effort. I cannot wait to see him tonight. Yeah, man. You, you mentioned when he faced off against Cameron Boozer, the best, one of the best players in the country. He was absolutely amazing. You see how great he was doing. And again tonight, he's gonna have another matchup against the top center and Jane Quinn. So we'll talk about it in a little bit. But John Bull, I think he came in here. We all talk about Sampto, RW. He's a big man, of course, but I think John Bull in the middle, great, great player. He is going to have his hands full with Jaden Quain. So Jaden yes. Quain is one of the elite premier players in the country. He plays to the five for this Word of God Holy Rams team, but it, he he's 6'9", six, 6'10". Six, he plays much more like a four, so it'll be interesting, interesting to see kind of how he plays tonight. He had 23-8-2 yeah. against the City Reapers. Obviously going against Samto, that was <laughs> that was quite a matchup for him. He's gonna have his hands full with John Bowl again tonight. I mean, he was the only bright spot last night as we saw Word of God get absolutely smacked by about 50 last night. But hey, we uh, he's gonna he's always gonna play well. Can the rest of the team play well? I think that's a big matchup that we're gonna have to look out for. But the Cold Hearts, we're gonna check them out right now. We got uh, we got some just an awesome team, really great guys across the board for the Cold Hearts. So let's check them out a little bit. you want to screen just like Trey Parker. Love to see the Cole Hearts here. They're starting line. We got Michael Brown at point guard, Adam O at the two, Ralph Martino, Samis Calderon, and then of course, like we mentioned before, John Bull, the big man. But they'll play a ton of guys tonight. Cole Hearts have a great lineup. And then on the Holy Rams side, you got Jordan Vick at the point. Played great last night. Isaiah, and then Clash Peters, Antonio Bo Hearns, and Jaden Quaintance. I need the word of God, Holy Rams, to play a little bit better today. And we got to hear from Coach Byron Williams. My man, Sniper Jones, is down there for the little press conference for the game. What's up, Snipe? How we doing? Hey, I'm down here with both coaches right now. Coach, is it a little bit of a rivalry going on between you and Coach Fanny? Oh, uh, most definitely between me and him, but hard. He, he keeps switching teams, man. He had to pick it a little, man. No, it's a pleasure coaching against a good coach, man. Absolutely. And Coach Fanny, I know... A lot of big time game between y'all two. What's the what's the mentality going into this game right now? Oh, we just know. I just know it's going to be a tough game. We had a great series last year, so I'm looking forward to tonight um, and just seeing our guys compete and, and see who see who's standing at the end of it. Absolutely, coaches. Good luck to both of y'all. We got an amazing game. We got Jaden Quainis. We got Bo. It's going to be crazy. Don't go nowhere. OTE basketball coming soon. Let's get it. 
I like when Sniper Jones is walking towards us. I mean, between these two coaches, we got totally opposite styles. Here's the tip. Michael Brown starts it off. Tell me a little about Michael Brown, point guard for the Cold Hearts. Okay, I love Michael Brown. Michael Brown is the kind of guy that you want to play with if you're a good shooter. Yep. He is a floor general. He's a super traditional point guard. Adam Umidouche finds his spot. But Michael Brown knows how to pass his guys open. He finds the open man, and if they're not open, he'll pass you open. And also, this just, this just needs to be said, he's kind of an old head who loves to listen to Jay-Z, so he's he's my he, he's my favorite player here at OTE. Look, Michael, he reminds me a lot of Cole Hart's point guard last year, Bryce Griggs, the guy who could, he's a floor general, he, sp he gets everyone open, gets everyone involved, at the end of the games, he kind of takes over. Last week, we saw him hit a big and one three-pointer against the Boozer Twins. Yep. Um, so look for Michael down the stretch to take over. But here we got Clash Peters, great name. Oh, John Bull. My bull. I, I, I just don't know. I, I think John Bull gets taller every game. Clash Peters looks like he's already had enough of John Bull. <laughs> now, we talked about John and Jaden a little bit in the beginning. Jane Quayton's number 21 for word of God. He's a seven-footer, he's young, he's athletic. Michael gets right to the rim. Hey, he talked about Michael Brown and then he scored. It's amazing. Michael, but by the way, with offers from LSU, Indiana, Florida, Florida State. That's a lot of star power. He's got offers from already. Yeah, it, it feels like he, he's just a guy who can do everything. Clash goes back door. Great job by John Bull. John Bull gets his hands on a million balls a game. How could he not? Like. His hands are pretty much touching his knees. <laughs> Here we'll see the, the John Bull block on Clash Peters. Got him a little bit in the face. <laughs> a little, okay. yeah, a lot in the face. Uh, for anyone that's just joining us, as Jay and Quayne floats it in, misses a little off the mark. We just had an amazing game between Ring City, Dylan Harper, against uh, the City Reapers, where the refs were uh, not the best. So we got the same batch here. Let's see if they can pull it together. I think no. this ref can hear me. I'm so close to him. Normally when you say mid, <laughs> normally when you say mid, it's an insult. They were Call, so calling, bad. Calling those refs mid in the first game would be a compliment. <laughs> Yeah, Adam O there who just who just goes up and gets fouled. He'll be coming to the line. Adam O, 2026 20, guard. He's one of the younger players at OTE, but he's starting. And um, I think what people talk about him is scoring. Like he is just a young guy who he can always get to the basket and can always score. Adam O feels like one of your guys. I am a big Adam O fan. Look, when, <laughs> there are certain guys that you hoop with. <laughs> that you, you're not sure if you love them or hate them. Maybe if they're on your team, you love them. If they're not, you, you, you're a little sick of him. This kid loves to talk. <laughs> he loves to make his presence felt, and he backs it up. He's a great kid who, who loves to mix it up. And by the way, chat, I didn't forget about you. How are we doing, chat? Yep. We're early in this game. It's 5-2. to two. Put a 1 in the chat if you think the Cold Hearts are going to win. Put a 2 in the chat if you think the Holy Rams are going to get the dub. What do you got, by the way? Oh, I've got the cold hearts. Yeah, we're not. Oh, Jane, Jane Quaintance. Quaintance. I got the cold hearts if we're just going straight up, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm going with the cold I'm, hearts in this one. I'm taking cold hearts with the spread. Brian Williams already on the court. Check out Coach's Fit. Uh, he is in a little, not everyone loves a suit with shorts, but Coach Brian Williams, I'm sure we'll check in with him in a little bit. He, uh, he always dresses the kill. You know what I mean? Yeah, that outfit. Could you pull that off, you think? Oh, I could absolutely You wore a white pull. suit the other day. I, I did wear a white suit. Michael Brown. That was an NBA three. I love when Michael is pulling up like that. Quick five points for Michael. I was wearing a very similarly colored suit, and I felt like the baddest man on the planet. <laughs> and I wasn't wearing shorts. I wasn't wearing shorts. I, I don't have that kind of confidence to wear the, the suit shorts, if that's what they're even called. Coach came up to me yesterday, and he said, I don't know how we're going to play, but we're going to look great. <laughs> and he uh, he did not lie at any point. <laughs> um, we mentioned oh here goes Big Jaden. Jaden. You know so Jaden Quaintance, like we say, he's the best player on Word of God by by a lot. By a lot. Yesterday he had a great game and he had to play point guard at some times and that's it's great to see his development. But when he's just able to get the ball on the block and dunk it off of one dribble, as Mike Kell finds Rob Martino in the corner. I think that's when he's really going to be at his best. So if he has playmakers around him and get the ball in good spots, I mean, then we're going to see a Jaden Quaynes, who is probably the, one of the best players on the court. Throws it up, throws it down. That, that my guy, Bo Hearns? Bo Hearns to Isaiah Otiluk. <laughs> you notice I didn't say that when we announced that. You Why just called him Isaiah. <laughs> I was like, we got Isaiah out here. Adam O wide open in the corner. Oh, he doesn't miss that. 
so all day, all night. Do you want to know why Adam Moe is my favorite player? Talk to me. He stole my heart. The first time I met Adam Moe, he told me he loves the overtime challenge, mm. which is an overtime throwback if you're on their, our YouTube channel where we have filmed countless overtime challenges with LaMelo Ball, yep. Trey Young, uh, A Boogie, a and then Boogie. most recently, nice three. Our guy Sniper Jones, the host of the overtime challenge right now, he just had on uh, Duke Dennis yep. last week, and tomorrow, we will, or was it today? Today. Today, we just dropped the Rob Dillingham overtime challenge. So Adam O, oh, he loves the OT challenge. He hasn't earned his own yet, but Rob Dillingham and X Cold Heart has, and that came out today, so you gotta check it out. Chat, what's your favorite OT challenge that you've seen throughout the years as we take a look at the alley oop? Nice finish by the 6'7 guard from Cary, North Carolina. Rob Dillingham leaving the Cold Hearts. Let's talk about last year's Cold Hearts team a little bit as Samis Calderon goes to the basket. Before that, Samis, he is a Brazilian player, and he's new to the squad, new to the OTE. What do you know about Samis? So the Cold Hearts have these two Brazilians who are some of the best players we have at OTE. We've got Hainan Dos Santos and Samis Calderon. Now, Hainan is in Brazil right now playing with the Brazilian national team. He's that good. Samis Calderon has been, I think, one of the most surprising players that we've had here so far. He looked unbelievable at the OTE combine that we had a couple weeks ago. He, he truthfully looked like the best player on the floor at practice on Friday for the Cold Hearts. Yep. Keep your eye on number six, Samis Calderon. He's 6'8", 194. We'll get to him more in a little bit. Sniper, what do you have going on down there? Well, right now I got Coach. Coach locked in the game right now. But I'm going to ask you, Jaden Quayton's game has transformed. Last year, he was more of a prototypical big man, but now he's pushing the break. He's shooting threes and middies. What's the confidence you gave him coming into this season? Uh, he, he, he's, he's, he's probably, I really believe in my heart, he's the best player in America. Everybody just saying he's young. But y'all going to see so much more of his talent coming out, man. We're going to let him handle it from the four to the five. And he actually our second point guard, our backup point guard. And Isaiah came in out. He's coming out to a oh. strong start. What do you have to say about him? He got seven points already, some tough threes, a lob. He's bringing a lot of energy. One more. Yeah, man, um, shoot or shoot. In my program, man, if you can shoot, we allow you to shoot with confidence. Talk to me about the outfit today. I'm going to step back, let him see. You got, the, you got the matching top, but instead of the pants, you decided to go with the shorts. The Adidas on the feet, you looking clean, Coach. You're looking clean. Man, on, it's only one thing cold in the cold, and that's ice cold. <laughs> hey, you heard it here from Coach. Only one thing cold in the cold, baby. That's ice cold. Back to y'all at the board. What's cold in the cold? <laughs> I think, he just, cold. I think he inadvertently just said he's rooting for the cold heart, <laughs> which, uh, which feels like a tough break. Coach Brian Williams, one of my favorites, always got a great attitude, especially, uh, I don't want to talk too much about it, but last night he did lose by 50. And tonight they come, they come out, and they, today they've come out and they're playing a lot better. Cold Heart's up 15 to 13. After last night, did you have any confidence that Word of God was saying this game today? Uh, no. But, but they needed to have a good first quarter, and they are having a good first yep. quarter. Two-point game. Going to the line with a chance to tie it up. One guy I'm really looking at right now is number one, who I think, is he coming out right now? Nah, no, he's, he's just going to, to talk to Coach. Jordan Vick, we heard Coach talk about him a lot. We've heard his teammates talk about him a lot, where they need him to be that kind of guard who can control the pace and really get a lot of their better shooters over. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I, I, again, if he can get to the rack and he can get the ball to Jane in better spots, I, I think the, that's where Word of God's going to be at their best. Now, we haven't seen, we just had our first subs in for the game for the Cold Hearts. They brought in big Peyton Marshall in for uh, John Bull. Peyton is a Missouri commit. He is a big man and a force. And I want to see Jane Quinn try to match up against someone who's probably the first time in his life a lot bigger than him. Um, so I'm interested in seeing that matchup. Peyton Marshall is just a massive individual, but he's got great feet. He you know, does. He, he moves a lot better than you think he does when you first look at him. I mean, look right there. They call him Big P, and he's hilarious, and he's awesome, and I, he's actually just one of the greatest guys you're ever going to meet. Oh, what a wide open. Wow. You know why he was wide open? Because look at that pass from Mikel Brown Jr., the no look across the court. We need to take another look at that. Now we talked, I mean, we got a little time out here, but we talked a lot about Michael Brown early. Look at this pass, he whips it with the left. No look. 
Mike Kel Brown, the left. actually a big football fan. I don't know if you knew that. He's got great NFL knowledge. We sat back in the social media room, the kitchen, a couple weeks ago, and he told me all about the NFL. Right and uh, we saw ball. it there with the pass. Who's his favorite team? I have no idea. Better be the Giants. It's definitely not the Giants. The Giants, the Giants are a terrible Giants. football team. Let's see what Coach Manning is, is talking about in the, in the huddle right now. That last one, he kind of came off and was by himself, all right? Whose who's ball is it? It's here. It's their ball. <laughs> Hey, we got fouls to give, guys. Next possession, if it's not in transition, if we have some in transition, we go. If it's not, uh, Kel, you got it. Adam, you're running through. Peyton, you start low. As soon as Adam, as soon as Kel crosses this midline, duck him in. Give him that outside hand. Kel tried to hit his outside hand. Hey, guys, defense. You're one corner, can is the other. Defense, guys, one on one defense. Great defense. Three, one, two, three. Coach Fanning talking to this squad. Everybody very calm out. there. Very, very calm. Michael Brown, we talked about, I just got a text from, uh, from Overtime Cone. He's a Steelers fan. Mm. So a terrible team as well. And shout out to Ryan Rossi, who loves the Steelers. But Michael, Michael, Michael. He's a great point guard. Do you have, a, do you have an NBA comp for him yet? Have you, have you seen I'm, enough of him? I'm still working on it. I'm still working on okay. it. He, you know who he kind of reminds me of a little bit? Me? Uh, overtime Tom. No. <laughs> um, he reminds me of uh, this. You know, I don't like this comp. Can I just throw it out and say that it's not a good comp? Yes. Uh, what, what, what's his name? Who played on uh, for Duke and then the, and then New Orleans? Of course, you said. Fred um, no, uh, uh, Jackson. Uh, what's his name? He has a, definitely a little Tyus Jones in him. Great but. job by Jane Quain just now getting back on the D. I've been back on the on the break to block uh, Adam O's three there. Keep thinking about your Michael Brown come. I want to I want to get an All Star on the play. That's, that's what I need for me. Okay. I, <laughs> let me work on it. We're in the first quarter right now. Let me work on the player come. We talked about him a little bit in the first in the opener, but we got Clash Peters out there, number 12 for word of God. He uh, last night he made an insane prediction at halftime. He said the other team would never score, and they went on to score a lot. Hey yo, is that three? He's, I think he's three for three from three. He's talking, talking so all the way yeah. down the court. I think it's a pocket right in his face. <laughs> Whatever, three is more than two, I like it. We got 30 seconds left in this first quarter. Cold Hearts lead 24 to 16. Feels like Mike Tell Brown gets the rim at any point. We got AO coming here. For Adam Umi Douche and Michael Brown have 22 of the 24 Cold Hearts points. AO blocked. Brown with the board. Coach Banning calls a timeout with two seconds left on the shot clock, nine seconds left on the game clock. Uh, yeah. Very curious what Coach Manning is gonna gonna call it, gonna dial up here. But Adam O, like we talked about, offensive player, a little bit younger. So to be talking trash as a sophomore in high school, I think that shows just how like locked in he is. He's really a student of the game. And we're gonna listen in here for Coach Manning and see what he's got dialed up. Coming back, okay. We got fouls to give. Coming back. We're gonna take it out right here. Set it up like Serbia. Uh, Peyton, Cannon Catchings, Kel, Adam. Yep, Jeremiah, you're taking it out. P, you set one for Cannon. Cannon, catch this thing. And Peyton, you just kind of come back to the ball. You should have an open drive. Put your head down, go right. All right, try to get to the rim. You got, you got more than enough time. You catch it and just go right. P, you set it and clear out. Kel, you space corner. All right. Go. Cold Hearts coming out here again. They got two seconds left on the shot clock. Coach Banning, known for his out of bounds plays. I'm sure they got something. Tom Sniper Jones just came over here and said I, the I most ridiculous thing. I don't thing know why he comes over And here. said that he wants to build a statue of Adam O now so he can be right when he gets old. Adam is like 12 years old. He can be like nine feet tall by the time he leaves here. We can't build the statue yet until we know exactly what he's going to look like and be like, okay? Yeah, he's, he's 6'5", 173 <laughs> right now. Goes in the cannon. He's got to throw One it up. second. Three seconds left. Clash Peters. Chuck it up, Clash. This is such a Clash moment. Oh, man. Almost breaks the backboard. Love Clash <laughs> Peters, but he just clashed that one right off the backboard. End of the first quarter, the Cold Hearts lead 24 to 16. A great first quarter. Can't wait to see what we got in the second. We'll be right back. But man, Michael Brown and Adam O, great job there. Sometimes I even get frustrated because 
they can sink down to a low level emotionally really quick. Stop talking to play defense. We want a job or not. You're not cut out for it. Keep your head down. We're bitching and moaning to something that don't matter. The players have to grow and evolve into more mature young men. Now, welcome back. Great first quarter. We just saw a little bit from OTE's One Shot, our docu-series on Amazon Prime Video. For the Cold Hearts in the show, if you've seen it, it's a lot of Som it was a lot of Sompto and Trey Parker who were Cold Hearts last season. This year, I'm very curious if there's going to be a Cold Heart in the mix, maybe an Adam O, maybe a Michael Brown, maybe they can be the, the focus on the show this upcoming season. There's a lot of good choices, honestly. I, I wouldn't mind seeing either of those two. Maybe okay. John Bull. Oh. Your, your vibe cam interview with <laughs> was electric. <laughs> was electric. Hey, how are we doing, Mr. Official? Hey, uh, ref, quick question for you. Did you have the inverted whistle last game? He you did. didn't. Okay, but you know who it was. He oh, did. you did? He did. Did you say sorry? Did you say sorry? <laughs> okay, good. Just making sure. Uh, for anyone that just jumped in here, last game came down to the wire. We had a quick inverted whistle. Alex is asking the ref about it. Almost got swung on just now. Uh, Cole Hart's lead 24 16. One shot. We were just talking about it, but. I think John Bull is a very interesting character that could potentially be in it, but if, we do, if we're judging by this game, it's got to be an Adam Bowen and Michael Brown. Who, that, what, they combined for 20, 22 in that first half? 20, the first quarter? they have 22 of the Cold Heart, Cold Heart's 24 points. Slight work. Word of God, a little bit better first quarter, but still not great. What, what do they got to do to get done? They need to hit open threes like that <laughs> for starters. Look. Jaden Quaintance right now has six of the 16. Needs some contributions all over. Nice finish there, though. Jeremiah Falmina, lefty young guy from California. He uh, he had a great practice on Friday, Tom. He had a great practice on Friday. He also did a great job yesterday. He was featured in the halftime show, shooting three pointers, yep. and he uh, he beat Adam O in it. So Jeremiah, a little bit of a shooter. He's got a lefty, nice little touch. I think he. He's getting comfortable at OTE, which is which is nice. It's hard, like when you're mo you move, you move from LA or California yep. to Atlanta. A lot of these guys have a big transition when they come to OT, so it takes a little bit of time for them to get kind of locked in. But I think we're seeing a lot of those guys hit their strides right now. So just a reminder, we have eight minute quarters as Clash Peters misses there. Eight minute quarters, except the fourth quarter is 12 minutes. We want a little more crunch time to get to the fourth quarter as fast as we can. So we have an offensive foul uh, going the other way. Adam Moore is quite the actor. Maybe he should be in the overtime challenge. He <laughs> fell down very easily there. Very easily. Now, we're watching the Cold Hearts right now. We got a couple other teams that you've seen this weekend, right? You saw the City Reapers just now. Yep. We saw RWE last night. Yep. Just talk about those three teams. Where do you rank them? Rank those three squads for me. Okay, I'm going to go RWE, Cold Hearts, City Reapers. Interesting. However, however, I think there's been a lot of City Reapers disrespect going around. City Reapers slander? A lot of City Reapers slander. And, and, and I know I know the chat is going to have thoughts on this. I need to know your rankings after this dunk, though. Hey. hey so, go. chat. Let me know what your rankings are. I think RWE has to be the favorite. I really like this Cold Hearts team. I know the City Reapers just lost. But, uh, you know, the, the City Reapers have a lot of weapons, and they can really score in a hurry. Speaking of scoring, Adamo with the lefty hook. Wasn't something I ever anticipated him doing. But Adam now up to 12 points early in this second quarter. Big P with a quick dollar. That's going to hurt the face. Um, Holy Rams, they were coming back a little bit, a little transition buckets, but but Adamo stops it there. My There's the Jaden Queen block. Look at this lefty shot, man. Do you got that in your game? Oh, of course. <laughs> Don't ask questions you know the answer to. <laughs> Michael just got Adam O a little break. Jaden oh. Queen's going right to work against John Bull. I want to see some cannon catchings here. No points so far. Only one or two shots. Yep. But this this Great unit pass. this Ooh. unit of catchings and Calderon, number six and number eight. Keep your eye on them. We got a foul there on catchings. We got a foul there, and that's gonna give us that's gonna give us a second to catch up with Adam O, who sniper is down with on the body can snipe. How's Adam doing? I got Adam with me, A-O. You coming straight out the gate firing, bro. What's the mentality? 14 points already. Nah, I had to come out there. He was talking crazy. 
and I don't go like that. Who is he? Who is he? 23, he talking crazy. 23, okay, okay. Bo Not Hearns. Like that. <laughs> That's Bo Hearns. And also, I ain't, I ain't trying to steer you up no more than you already are. When I was by the bench, the team was saying you wouldn't really like that. That's what they said down there. Yeah, that's what it's up. They crazy as hell. They don't know what's good. They seen it, though. And I'm not done either. So you're one of the youngest players here, but also the mentality, I can tell right off the back you feel this, bro. I see when you get the ball, you know what you want to do. You're confident out there on the floor. Where that confidence come from? I feel like I always got coached to, like, play with confidence and always have, like, grit and you better than everyone on the court. It's no matter who guarding you. I love to hear. Hey, good luck on the rest of the game. You're already coming up to a crazy start. Fellas, back to y'all. Man, I've talked to Adam a lot. I've never seen him that fired up. It doesn't seem like he's going to slow down anytime soon. What do you think about the little trash talk from the sophomore? <laughs> I think I think he uh, he's fearless with the trash talk. That, that's that's for sure. But you know what? He backs it up. Yeah. He backs it up. He, he talks yeah, yeah, the talk, yeah, he walks the walk. Yeah, yeah. I like it. And while he was talking to Sniper, Michael Brown with a nice, quick little lay. So he's up to 12 points as well. Calderon. Oh, he doesn't miss that. Man. He's just your classic 3 and D guy. I see some East Calderon coming from Brazil. Getting comfortable here in the States. From Espirito Santo, Brazil. Yeah, how's your Portuguese? My Portuguese is fabulous. Thanks for asking. So speaking of Portuguese, did you just hear Coach Fanning real quick? Now, I know Coach Fanning speaks a lot of languages. Yep. I didn't know he had Portuguese in his bag. He has Portuguese in the bag. Uh, he had to learn a little bit, a little refresher course for hand on. But that's pretty similar Sunnies. to Spanish, <laughs> right? It is, but it isn't. I, t I feel like if you could speak Correct. Spanish, you could learn Portuguese pretty easily. But the amazing thing about Coach Fanning isn't that he knows all this stuff, but instead it's the fact that he can do it so quickly. Uh, look, mark your calendars. The OT takeover is happening November 17th and 18th. We got the Cash App Dunk, so dunk Show, the State Farm King of the Court, the Trey Ball Challenge, and the All-Star Fives. All the OT stars will be here that weekend, so make sure you click on us on Prime Video and subscribe to the OT YouTube channel to check it out. The, the, overtime, the OT takeover, that's like our NBA All-Star Weekend. Yep. That's where all the stars come out. We'll have, we'll have Nelson. We'll have Cam Wilder. We'll have all the best players. Trey Parker and Ja'Kai Howard might be dunking a little bit. Ian Jackson's going to come down from Jelly Fam. All the things... The back door's open. That was great, but all the things happening at the TakeOver, dunk, dunk Show, King of the Court, what's your favorite event from the OT TakeOver? Well, I think if you say anything other than the Dunk Show, you're just trying to be creative. So I, I respect you just wanting to be different. Chat, I need to know who you think is going to win the dunk show this Ooh, year. Ja'Kai Howard, Trey Parker, Jason Jackson. J-Jack is a fan favorite. Yep. You got, Sa will Santo get in there? And Samis Calderon Samis comes out Calderon. on the Calderon. Oh, Ooh. he's not going to be what in the dunk show. Darian Ellis with the rejection. I don't think we're putting Samis in the dunk show. You know what? He went up with authority. I didn't <laughs> he did. think. He tried. He tried. I didn't it. think Ellis at 6'6 could get up like that. Let's Look at number three. Block. Yep. Ooh. Clean. I love it. I love it. Yes, I do love it. And he didn't have a great angle, Samis. Um, but like we said, comment who you think would win the dunk show. Trey Parker, Jason Jackson. We'll get Ian Jackson probably. Larry Johnson from Rolling Loud. We'll talk about the other teams that are coming down in a little bit. Cannon catches a oh, oh, he gets the roll. Members bounce. Shooter. Cannon catchings, and we have a 19-point lead. This second quarter has not been nice to the Holy Rams. Yes, sir. And again, two weeks away from the takeover. Make sure you mark your calendars. One of the best weekends in basketball. Can't wait. Can't wait. You know? Chat, if you, knew, if you know who said can't wait, what <laughs> NFL player back in the day said that, drop it in the chat. I know Tom doesn't know. I... Uh, you know what? I do because someone just sent me the meme like two days ago. You know, should I spoil it? Uh, no, I'll give a clue though. It was a Pittsburgh Steeler. That's my clue to the chat. Oh, you know what? I think I'm wrong then. Yeah, it, it was a. Oh wait, no, no it was a jet. jet. Yeah, it was, a it jet. Was, sorry, it was a jet. It was, it was a jet before. It was a jet before he played the Steelers. Uh, we have the trash can fall, which is always fun, right next to us. Love to see that. Um, <laughs> Michael Brown out here. Oh, he doesn't pull it. What? Yo, I hate that rap. I know you were talking to him being buddy buddy. I was I was playing nice and now I, I kinda I'm just, hate I'm him. I'm talking too. bad about him behind his back. I didn't say it to his face, but yeah, the inadvertent whistle last game. That time Michael Brown. It was it was accidental. <laughs> Look at him grab his nose. <laughs> great. We got Adam O back in the game. 14 points again early here. 
He's got the rock right now. Gives it up to Ralph Martino. Here we go. Keeps it in. Ralph Martino with the nickname The Specialist. How, where's that rank in your nickname list? Sorry, say it again, Tom. Ralph Martino, they call him the specialist. That's the nickname, the name on his jersey. Is that kind of a... There's no reason for it, as far as I mean, I know. as far as I know, he's a, a just a basketball player. But, you know, I, I like the nickname. I like the nickname. It's a good nickname. Too. Adam O with another bucket there, I believe, in the corner. Woo! Oh, man, those two are going to start right now. Bo Hearns and Adam O do not like each other at all. <laughs> I believe Coach Vanning just called a timeout just to yell at the referee, which we love to see. We're going to listen to what he's got to say in the huddle right now. Wait, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. I want you both in. I want you both in. John and P are in. John and P are in. Bo Hearns with a nice three. I'm not sh that, that was not a push off, I don't, I don't think. Let's check in with Brian Williams. The Holy Rams, he's got to be active and happy right now. And we gotta take pride on defense. Right now we can score when we want, but we gotta take pride on defense. You gotta talk for it. You gotta talk for it. You can't just be dummy cones out there. We gotta talk. Talk, 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 hey, look talk, at, talk. This is a 16-point game. All right, let's start with three stops in a row. Three stops in a row, three scores in a row. All right, let's do it. Come on, y'all. Defense on three. One, two, three, defense. Hey, that's it right there, man. Coach Williams getting hyped in the huddle. We got our guy Sniper Jones down there with my favorite person in the world, Overtime, Megan Snipe. Megan, what's up? I got Overtime Megan with me. She's excited because she got on all the cohorts gear and now a cohort are finally playing. What you got to say about the performance we're seeing right now? Listen, Brown's got how many points now? He's got 12 points, number zero on cold hearts. He's killing it. He's out there. The guys have a great dynamic out there on the court, and I love this team, as you can see. So go cold hearts, baby! Hey, look, I see you got the popcorn down here. You locked in. But it's even more exciting things happen during the halftime. So what we got going on during halftime? We got a little game of family feud happening during halftime, so stay tuned. Let me let, let me get some of this. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, get your popcorn ready. It's A1, too. I like that. I'm, I'm coming back for the rest. Back to y'all at the booth. I am so hungry, and I would die for some popcorn right now. I was right going to say. My favorite snack, by the way, is popcorn. I, so, same, and I had to cut myself off. <laughs> That's part of maturing is saying, hey, maybe you just can't have popcorn in the house. And a lot of people are saying, overtime, Megan, maybe the good luck charm for the cold hearts is Adamo. I think this is for the first time ever in his entire life. Uh, we got OC Megan and Sniper coming up in a little bit for the State Farm halftime. It's going to be a great time. And Megan is ready to come onto the court, it looks like, which, which we would appreciate. We would love to see. I'm trying to see if overtime Megan starts rooting harder and more for the Cold Hearts than she does for the New York Knicks. Oh! I, ho I, I hope not because our Knicks need the help more than the Cold Hearts. I feel better about this Cold Hearts team than I do about my Knicks after the loss this week. So you know what? Maybe she saves for the Knicks. Although that Cold Hearts jumpsuit is pretty bad. It's, it's amazing. Hey, I need everyone in the chat. Comment W Megan. Whoever puts W Megan in the chat the most times will get a free T-shirt. So whoever's around the chat, sure. Maddie or Overtime Sam, let's see who writes W Megan the most times in the chat. And let's send that person an Overtime T-shirt. We're checking in. Hey, Coach called. Williams, my guy, Coach. Can you hear me? I'm over here, Coach. Can you hear me? Get the crap out of me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, I miss you over here. I'm usually right next to you. How you man, doing? You know I'm schizophrenic and bipolar, man. I was like, <laughs> what is my voice saying to me? Um, Coach, Travo! you're down a little. Travo! I know, I know hey. things are getting serious, Coach, when you take the glasses off and you scream in my ear. What's going on down there? It, it, it's getting spooky, man. Stuff like that, the turnover. Turnovers, man. We're just trying to stay in the game, man. It's early in the year. Man, we just got to show up better than we did yesterday, man. I'm actually proud of these guys thus far, man, because these cohorts are a really good team. But I, I'm going to tell you something else, man. What's up? It's hard with these referees, man. Jesus Christ. You, you should have seen him in the last game. Terrible. I got a little 
little cash for him. I, I tried to buy him, but they were. I'm, I'm glad you got a little cash for him. Now, how do you guys get back in the game? What do you got to do? Man, it's, it's straight, straight defense, man. Straight defense. Minimize the turnovers and um, defense. Of course, you got to make shots. Right. You got to make shots. Shoot the ball. Oh! Hey, coach, if you want, in the second half, I can get you a referee uniform. Coach, last question for you. The Cole Hart just switched to a 2 3 zone. What do you got to do against the zone? To hit score? shots just like that. Got to hit shots, wow. of course, man, because we're going to take them. Coach, were you a shooter when you played back in your day? No, nah, man, I was a real point guard, man. Pass forward, man. Something like Mikael Brown. All right, let's get you out there in the second half. Maybe we can get you a, a uniform we can get you to play, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, coach, appreciate you. That's Coach Williams, a word of God, uh, rocking the all white suit. As always, looking fresh, and he's got his team competing as much as they possibly can. We got 25 seconds left here in the first half. Cole Hart's up 18. The story has been Adam O and Michael Brown. We're gonna see some of Adam O here. Pete Marshall, a nifty move. He's, he can't nifty stop it. and shifty, but big 2 1. He just can't stop it. There's nothing you can do there. Oh, oh. And that will do it for the first half. 44 to 24, the Cold Hearts lead. Look, Cold Hearts didn't play earlier uh, last night. This is their only game this weekend, and they look fresh and unstoppable. We got the State Farm halftime coming up in a little bit with OT Megan, Overtime Day, and Sniper Jones. We got a lot of fun stuff. But first, very shortly, we will be joined by the man of the hour, Adam O who I believe has 16 points. Adam, how are we doing, man? I'm good, how are you? I, I mean, I'm not doing as well as you. You had 16 points in the first half. Is that the most points you've ever scored in a half? Not just at OT in general. Nah, I think it was like 29. You scored 29 and a half before? Yeah, I had a 52 game. Oh, damn. Well, hey, in the yeah. first half, you were hitting, you were kind of doing everything, right? Was it, you, you mentioned it to Sniper that it was the guy talking a little bit of trash, but was there anything this morning or before the game that you felt good coming into it? Nah, I just crank like mad music before the game, but like that gets me like in the groove. Yep. What's what's the playlist in pregame? Probably Young Boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second half. You think we can score more than 16 points? I don't know. I'm just trying to win the game at this point. All right, man. Have a great second half. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Adam O, 16 points in the first half. Now. Yes, sir. Appreciate we gotta, you. We gotta, thank you. Thank you, Adam O. Appreciate you. Now. Yeah, Sniper Jones and overtime day for the State Farm halftime, guys. Help me out. How are we doing? What's going on, you guys? We got the State Farm halftime. What a what a game. What a game. That was a pretty entertaining first half. Cold hearts. Two man. That's all they need. Just two guys. It's, I, it's a bicycle built for two. It's a bicycle built for two. We got some exciting games happening right now. We got a family feud that's about to go down. So, Bria, let me know what we got. All right, Sniper. It is a State Farm halftime contest, but it's very interesting. So, as you all know, there is a game that we love to play. It's one of my favorite games. It's called Family Feud, but we like to call it here OTE Feud with a basketball twist. But because the holidays are right around the corner, I'm here with Lee. We're going to put your skills to the test to see if you can name some of the top Thanksgiving foods. All right, hey, so no pressure, Megan. 100 OTE I don't think she can hear you, but if she could, the top six you'd answers. probably make her so even Tara, more nervous. If we can get the top six answers hey, on no the board, pressure. you'll show me six, six options. Oh, we've got overtime. <laughs> Megan here to help me out, all right? So Do Lee, you watch Family Feud? Once Tara flips oh. him over, Do I, uh, What win. kind of question is that? I'm, I, I'm just asking, because Family Feud was like one of those old school gaming shows Mac that was revamped with a little soul. We're the same age. I know for a fact that we both had the game show network on TV after nine o'clock yeah. every single night. Okay, I'm just so making sure, Yams Harvey. and marshmallows. Yams and marshmallows. No, all okay. right. Okay, okay. Well, what would you Stuffing. say here? Stuffing. I missed the question. Me too, me too. Is number three, okay. It sound like, it sound like Thanksgiving food? Sides? It sound like what Thanksgiving sides or something like that? Is it turkey should be the number one answer. Okay, help her out. Oh, it gotta help be Thanksgiving. Out, Honey. Where the greens at? Where the greens at? Green bean casserole. Green casserole. Bean casserole. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> Mashed potatoes? Right. That's a good one. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Honey baked ham. Mashed potatoes. Honey baked ham. Pumpkin pie. Peach cobbler. Something. Uh, no. Talk okay, to me. Okay, help her out. She's got two strikes on the board. 
No honey baked ham is kind of surprising. Potatoes. That's like a staple. Mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, what, what do you All right, think one last here? one. I'm going to go. got to have this after the meal. I'm going to go with greens. In my household. You already got green beans. Okay. No, that's oh, green what? beans. See, greens is different. Don't have any okay. desserts but but, but you know what? It's probably not on the list. What, what, what you thinking? Say it. Pumpkin I, honestly, pie. I'm having trouble Pumpkin thinking of another. Congratulations! You're going home with a prize bag courtesy of O. Hey, everybody loves some pie, hey, man. Megan, everybody loves pie. Now. JMB, back over to you, man. I guess everybody loves some pie. You like some pie? Of course, I love pie. I'll go pumpkin pie even over apple pie too. I'm an apple pie guy with a little, nice little scoop of scoop of vanilla. I, I that was impressive. I know food. Hey, this guy thinks he knows food better than me. Let me tell you, you can't shoot, you don't know food. Oh my God. <laughs> keep, going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You can't dress. You, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I love Alex, Alex is my favorite. I was, about, I was about to join in, but you, you know. Yeah. I can handle my own. I chat, can chat, let me know if y'all like day outfit. I, I like the fit, you got the overtime. I didn't, I didn't know we were doing the You got the Adidas on, I, I like the fit. But but your fit is a little bit better, I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, that's so not, you're not comparing. Uh, also, AO has got what? 16 points right now, so we're killing it. Absolutely. AO has been killing it. You know, AO, that's my guy. That's my guy. That's my. I think he's one of the brightest stars here at OTE, and I think he put the board on notice today. Now, I need to tell you guys what this man, Sniper Jones, just said to me. Before we got on here, he started comparing Adam O to Michael Jordan. Okay, I mean, he remixing it now. <laughs> now you get it now, now you wildin'. He said, he said they knew Michael Jordan was gonna be the best ever before Michael Jordan ever played. He said, that's what I'm doing with Adam O. Hey, listen, I'm an Adam fan, but that sounds like, love, that's crazy. I love Adam O. Let's pump the brakes a little bit. He's, a, he's talking Michael Jordan. Come Alongside on. Adam, you also gotta talk about Michael. Michael been holding down as well, making some big shots. What do you think about him? I wish I could play with Michael Brown. He feels, why, why is that? He feels like the kind of point guard that you want on your team. You know, he 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 gets you open. I love the way that he's a pass first guard, but also you see he's got double digits right now. Their second leading score. I love what he brings on the offensive side. Megan, how many points would he average if he played by Michael? Six. Six? Like two threes, maybe some free throws, or like what type of game? I think I think more than you. I think Alex would foul out and get his points from there. But also, he did say pump the brakes, and I say pedal to the metal, so. Uh, I mean, you got to fight back, Day. Look, if, if Megan's in there, <laughs> Megan's averaging 1.7 <laughs> points per game. That's a weird, oddly strange number. Megan is <laughs> zero rebounds. Let's see what Coach got to say in the locker room. I know them guys are fired up, and they got to make some changes. See y'all in a second. Hey guys, uh, re really good, really good first half, okay? Really good first half, way to share the basketball. The pace is good. I again, I love how you guys are sharing the basketball. There's a couple of those possessions, especially in the first quarter, where you guys are getting in the lane and spraying out to people. A couple things though, we, we do have 10 turnovers. A couple of those we're trying to find guys early. With Peyton and John, remember the magnet cuts. If those guys have a mismatch, if they're running out ahead and they're open, Maybe you don't have it right away, but you can go find them in the first four or five seconds, either with a pass ahead and then dump it in, or you guys dribble over and find them inside. Because I definitely want to keep finding these guys inside or start to find them more, but just a couple of these turnovers that we're going over the top, um, let's try to avoid those, okay? Pick and roll defense with Quintons. Let's keep switching. We haven't had a problem there, all right? Really good pick and roll defense, Peyton. You had a couple with, uh, with 12. You're still in white with 12, all right? Um, guards. Keep attacking these guys off the dribble. Keep getting into the lane. Adam, Kel, Jeremiah, Ralph. You guys keep attacking off the dribble. Keep getting into the lane. And just read. If you guys have a driving kick, driving kick. And then Peyton and John, you guys are either looking to seal or looking to play behind the defense. Okay? The guys, we're killing them on the glass. They played last night. We're, we should be fresh. If you're fresh, keep going to the glass. We keep rebounding. We keep running. We keep playing defense. Great job deflections. For sure, that's our best half in terms of deflections, okay? So great one-on-one -on -one defense, guys. Keep playing together. And let's start this second half with a lot of energy. And let's go take this game, all right? All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're building our game, guys. Keep building our game. Finish. All right, man, you heard, Coach. Defense is the topic of discussion. What do you think they need to do on a defensive end to make sure that they can make an impact? For, uh, for the cold hearts? For the cold hearts. Look. Cold heart, the cold hearts are up by 20 right now. <laughs> cold hearts are up 44-24. I, I get that there have been some leaks in their defense. 
overall, I'm not taking anything away from Coach Fanning, but I think their defense has been fine. They're doing, they're definitely holding up their end on the offensive end. I think there have been a couple too many open looks where I don't know if it's in transition or just breakdowns. Can I iron some of that out? But if you're up by 20 at halftime, you're doing something right on the defensive end. Coach is a stickler on defense, but what's going on in the chat? We in the chat right now, looking at everything that's going on. If you're watching right now, join the chat. What's the word in the chat right now, Dave? A lot of W Megans, a lot of W Megans. Also, shout out to whoever, uh, I think it's Overtime Sam, who's, who's running the OTE <laughs> YouTube. Uh, overtime test, who's out here commenting back in French. In French? In French. We, I, would, I wouldn't even, we, oui, we, oui, that's all I know. We, oui, we. Oui. Yeah, yeah, bonjour. Merci, coup. <laughs> what does that even mean? Don't ask questions. <laughs> also, chat, I think that's why everybody in the chat right now is spamming over Tom Megan. is because, yo, Tom is over here guaranteeing t-shirts, man. Like, what is, what's going on? He, Tom's guaranteeing t-shirts? He said whoever's spamming, get a t-shirt. Tom, save one for me, all right? That's all I'm going <laughs> to say, Tom. Just so save one for me. I think that's fair because, you know, if, if you do your part in the chat, you deserve to get rewarded for that. I'm making a statement right now, and I'm standing on it. Can I get a solo mic? Mo's Michael Jordan. Mikael, Mikael and Adam are the best backcourt in OTE right now. Am I right or wrong? <laughs> Am I right or wrong? I think you're right. Come on. I think you're right. Come on. I think you're right. And you know what? They sure as, sure as heck showed that in the first half because they look good. We've seen a lot of good. We've seen a lot of good front courts. This is a really good looking back court. I mean, they can both score at a rapid pace. Not only that, they can create their own shots at any time. We see Michael. John Bow mentioned it earlier. He can tween tween off of the screen. He can also create his own shot. Not to mention, yo, Adam in transition. He got some bounce. He still hasn't done like a crazy dunk yet. But I'm telling you, he can do it. He got the one leg jumper, he got the swag. You heard the confidence on the Bobcat. There's two other guys I'm looking forward to seeing in the second half. I'm looking forward to seeing that kind of, I don't want to say second unit, but they seem to play a lot together with Cannon Catchings and Samis Calderon. Very similar type of forwards. I'm looking forward to seeing them in the second half. They had kind of a quiet first half. It was mostly the Adam Moe, Michael Brown show. I'm looking forward to seeing those two in the second half. Cannon is definitely one of my favorite players here. He also has the same confidence as an Adam O. And don't let him get going. I actually want to see a little trash talk. Because once you talk crazy to him, oh, that's, that's something you don't want to happen right there. I'm telling you that right now. I've seen it up close. You know I respect the good trash talk. I trash talk with the best of them, even when I've got no confidence. So I respect some good trash talk. Who's the best trash talker here if you had to pick anybody? I, I've, I'm not just because we're calling this Cold Hearts game. Adam O, you go to any of the three practices, Adam O runs his mouth <laughs> for sure. For, and he's only a sophomore. 100%. He got the confidence. No one else got confidence. My guy, Overtime Tom. Tom, back to you. Thank you guys for watching. Stay Farm Halftime. Sniper Jones, thank you so much. What an awesome first half. What an awesome halftime show. Uh, I'm looking right now at Dylan Harper who just came out here and he's signing about a million autographs, which is really dope to see. See, Shout out to Dylan Harper. We got the second half coming up in about 10 seconds. Hold Hearts are up 44 to 24 on the Word of God Holy Rams. Word of God's got to come out doing something crazy. Overtime day joining me again. I loved Overtime Megan talking trash to you guys. That was outstanding. Look, look, Overtime Megan runs her mouth a lot, nonstop in the office. You know, a little fresh Daily Megs podcast yes. action. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad she's confident because I'm ready for the one on one matchup. Yes, yeah, so you can catch Overtime Day and Overtime Megan on Fresh <laughs> Daily Megs on TikTok. They give dating uh, advice and life advice. Yeah. And they also just roast each other the entire time. So make sure you check that out. Speaking of roasting. The cold hearts are roasting more God right now, and uh, I don't see that slowing down. Is there any world where this becomes a closer matchup? You know what? The one thing I'm looking at is the three-point shooting percentage. Cold hearts <laughs> shooting 54% from behind the arc. Goodness. 18% for the Holy Rams. That's not getting it done if they don't close the gap in shooting Wait a minute, percentage time from three. <laughs> Can someone, you guys can't see overtime day here, but he is talking while fixing yeah, our TV monitor. Bro, I'm a Swiss Army guy. He is doing a little bit of everything, just like Adam O just threw a great dime to Ralph Martino on the break. I think it's becoming a question of, I think Mike Kell and Adam O, which is, I think they probably both want to be, end up being the leading scorer, so that might be the contest the rest of the game. Who can score more points? Right now, the, the Cold Hearts have doubled up the Holy Rams. Yeah, it's not good. It's, it's not good at all. Adam O 
Uh, he told me that he scored 29 and a half before. So this 16 points is not that impressive for him. Clash Peters backing down Big P. Throws it out to Bo Hearns. Jaden Quayton. Jaden only seven points in the first half. You know, one of the best players in the country. I think last night he had 23 and eight. Yep. I mean, he's going to have to have about 40 points in the second half if he wants to to dive even have a chance. Ralph Martino. Ooh. Ralph again. Whoa. There you go. Chat, real quick, who do you think is going to be the leading scorer for the Cold Hearts in this second half? Because obviously Adam O and Michael oh, Brown have a combined guarding. 30 points right now. Nice put back from Samiz Calderon. But I said Calderon and catchings. I'm looking forward to big second half from them. I wonder if Adam O, do you think he's the best shooter in all of OTV? We can think about a little a little early to declare that. But Ad, so there's Adam O. I think Eli and Isaac Ellis are obviously in the conversation. Yep. Um, Elijah Chopper Moore for Jelly Fam is a really good shooter. Sarah Hughes commit. Can I throw Parker Robinson in there from the City Reapers? You can certainly throw Parker Robinson in the mix. I think him and Adam O. It's funny they're like best friends and they play AAU together. So yep. you got two of the best shooters in the entire league. They've grown up together playing basketball. Um, last night I asked Parker. I asked Parker who we would want to play with if he had one guy. He said Adam O out of all the OT players. But hey, I think we're going to check in with my favorite person in the world, Coach Manning. Can you hear me? I hear you. I got a smile out of you. That's the first time ever. <laughs> What's going on? How are you feeling about the game so far? I feel pretty good. I think we're playing hard. I think we're playing together, which is two of the things we've been trying to emphasize since the start of the season. And in the first half, I mean, in the last night you guys did not play, but I saw you here watching the Holy Rams. Did you learn anything last night that helped you guys out so far in that first yeah, half? Yeah, they're a dangerous team. You know, they started the game last night. Uh, they started the game last night really good, and so we, we want to come out and make sure we were focused from the jump tonight. And talk to me about Adam O. Obviously had a big first half, 16 points. He's a sophomore, but he's so aggressive. He's talking about trash. Tell me about Adam O's game. Adam's great, man. He's really been pushing himself um, to find that balance between scoring the basketball and then creating for others. He had a nice little uh, driving kick right there on the last possession. But he's been good, and I think he's uh, really improving also defensively, something we've been talking a lot about. But, yeah, he was fantastic in the first half. Now, Coach, you know I can't only say nice things to you, right? I, I'm, I'm already ready, man. I'm already Last ready. season, Dre Gibbs Lawhorn caught a dunk on your man, Alex Saar. Are you holding a grudge against Coach Williams for that? Am I holding a grudge against Coach Williams because we ended their season? Would I, would I hold a grudge for that? I don't think I'll hold a grudge for that, would I? For no, Coach, you're way, too great. I you're, mean, way too, you're way too great of a guy for that. Yeah. I got Jane Clayton here dribbling the ball up. I'm going to let you go for now. Wait, actually, oh, wait, Coach, oh, yeah, Coach Randy, I have one more question. Day. How long did it take you to learn Portuguese? How long did it take you to learn Portuguese? I would say the better part. Oh, oh Martino. I would say the better part of two years, kind of on and off. You know, I speak fluent Spanish, so it's, it's a, a close, a close uh, cousin. I was trying to tell Tom that if you can speak Spanish, you can speak Portuguese, right? Yeah, it's like a Portuñol. You know, you, you got to get out there and mix it up a little bit. A couple, a couple beer, a couple beers, and I think you'll be able to get it through. Portuñol. Hey, I appreciate it, Coach Brandon. Let you get back to right, it. Thanks, guys. Now we just saw the dunk from hey, Ralph hands, Martino, hands, hands, the hands. specialist, ah. flying through the air. We've got Coach Fanning to scream when that happened, so you know it was hey, a John, good dunk. John. Was that the best interview we've ever had with Coach Fanning? You know, shockingly enough, his team, he's in a good mood when his team's up by 25. <laughs> I, I think Coach Fanning, I think he's going to have a lot of fun this season. He has a great team. I think he's happy with his squad. He's, he's even missing Hanon, who's his point guard and you know, one of his best players. So I think he's got a lot to look forward to. But... I think he knows that at the end of the day, it's going to come down to Cold Hearts, RWE. I think he's looking at that team, and he's like, dang, that's a tough one. Tom, we have so many good teams in the league this year. Obviously, yep. we have the three Atlanta teams, RWE, Cold Hearts, City Reapers. But some of the other teams around the country, I know you're high on Jelly Fam yep. out of New York with yep. Ian Jackson, Captain Jack, the UNC commit. Two teams in North Carolina, uh, YG Dreamers with the Ellis Bros, and, and also we have the Blue Checks there. Who are some of the guys on the Blue Checks that you The that Blue you Checks have Kansas commit Rakeese Passmore yep. and Cian Hall commit Jasim Felton. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they're, they're really good, Blue Checks. We've got Rolling, uh, not, I, I want to call them just Rolling Loud. Yeah, you call them Rolling Loud. Rolling Loud, yeah. based out of LA. And then we've got the Diamond Doves in Arizona. And, uh, Am I missing any time? What'd you say? 
Am I missing any? I think so I got you said them the Diamond Doves? I said the Diamond Doves. The Diamond Doves are a great squad. Rolling on. No, you got them all. Who's, your favorite, all. who's your favorite group? My, of the Atlanta teams, I, I have to stick by the Cold Hearts. Jump ball with a nice finish. Of the new teams, I love the jerseys on the Diamond Doves. Yeah. I haven't even seen them play yet. Yeah. But I just love their jerseys. I'm going to rank the eight for you right now. You ready? Talk to me. Yeah, RWE 1. Okay. Cold Hearts 2. Wait, are these your favorite? No, or no, you no think this, the, this is your record. standings prediction. Yep, okay. yep standings. Uh, RWE 1, Cold Hearts 2, Jelly Fam 3. I got the Blue Checks 4, City Reapers 5. I got the YNG Dreamers 6. I got Rolling Loud 7. And then the Diamond Doves cleaning it up. But I, wow. think, I think the whole season is going to be a pretty even. I think we have a lot of 500 records out here, which I love to see. So, Leonard... Leonard Konku is asking, who is the first person to score a basket in OTE? That's a great question. And I, oh, do you know it? I think I do. I think it's Jaygor. It is. It's Jaygor. He had a right? great little Euro lay. Um, it was an incredible, if you go back three years ago, I mean, it's one of the best nights in OTE history. But hey, you want to know it's also one of the best things in OT history? You better say the six man. It's the Adidas six man. I like this take this. I'd like to take this time to give a shout out to the Adidas six man, Colin Brown from Georgia. Colin's favorite OT team is RWE, but his favorite OTE player is Ja'Kai Howard. Colin, thanks for being an OTE super fan. You are a legend, and you had a great tour earlier. Sniper Jones, you're with Colin, the Adidas six man of the game. What's going on? I got Colin with me right now. You got the best. You got the best season in the house right now. Hold on, what we seeing? Oh, we almost seen a dunk. Speaking of dunks, I know one of your favorite players is Ja'Kai Howard. Talk about the dunks you seen from him today. Uh, bro, when I tell you, he be floating, bro. Like one of them dunks, he like in midair, he thought about what dunk he was gonna do, and that dunk's crazy. Now we see the game. We got the Cohars. I know you a Cohars fan. Who on this Cohars team is your favorite? Uh, I like my Markel right there. Markel tough. He's tough. And, and you got your boy Cam with me. See, he beat me in the shootout, so it's a little bit of beef, but it's all good right now, bro. You enjoying the game? Yes, sir. It's all, I'm, I like it right now. It's, you know, it's energetic, but you know, it's a little blowout. But you know, so whatever. Who's one of your favorite players on the court right now? I like Markel. My... Now, now you outshot me. Can you outshoot Markel too? Man, maybe, maybe, maybe on a good day. I don't know though. If you was out here right now, how many threes you hitting in the game, man? If they giving me screens and all that, I say about five. Five, that's solid. Five, solid. Yeah. How many? How many you hitting, Color? I'm at least hitting seven or eight. Seven or eight? No, I think the record is like eight or nine. So you you trying to break the record almost? I can definitely break that. Can he shoot? Can he shoot like that? Yeah, he can shoot. Yeah, he can. Shoot. Thank, thankfully, I ain't going against you. Thankfully, I ain't going against you. Hey, hopefully y'all enjoy the rest of the game, man. Thank y'all for coming. Thanks for supporting. Back to y'all with the boo. I'd let him play. Get, let him get out there. I mean, give him a couple minutes. <laughs> give him a couple minutes. I was, I was about to say, well, we got a 57-28 game. Yeah. But then I saw Michael Williams was standing right next to us. <laughs> you know what? During that whole six-man thing, I was listening, but I was also thinking about a crazy question. They're coming on the court right now. I gave you 12 Michael Browns and 12 John Bowles against each other. So it's 12 Michaels versus 12 John okay. Bowles. Who is winning that game? That's a good one, right? I'm going Michael Brown. I'm going Michael Brown. Chat, <laughs> help me out here. This is this is one of those weird Tom questions. I got a lot of weird questions for the rest of this game if it's gonna stay a blowout. I just gotta tell you that. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to visualize it. I can't. I think you Chat, go, what do you think? I think you go John Bowles because John at least can dribble a little bit. You can't teach Oh, oh my God. What is Michael gonna do against that? What are 12 Michaels oh, doing against 12 of those? Yeah, John Bowl at seven foot one. Yeah, I might have to go with John Bull. By the way, John Bull, seven foot one, 192 pounds. John Bull's blocks are always, they're so emphatic. I, I think he's learning from Santo of RWE. Santo Surreal, who we saw last night, have a triple double for RWE. Triple double, wait, 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 wait you're, yeah, you're yeah. bearing the lead here. Triple Tri double, no assists. <laughs> triple double, no assists. He had blocks. He also almost had fouls. He had seven fouls in the game at eight. OTE. You're, uh, so I double checked it. It ended up being seven. At OTE, you're allowed eight fouls. Ah. Um, so he almost had a quadruple double, but he had the OTE record with 11 blocks. But what I'm saying is, I think John is learning from something on the defensive side. On the defensive side, definitely. Look, other than the height, he still isn't as as intimidating. Um, Jaden Quaintons, by the way, who's at the free throw line right now, had the OTE record of blocks in the game right. with nine. 
Samto completely blew, well, I don't say completely blew it nah, out of the water, I but like <laughs> you, know, you get 11 blocks. Pretty impressive. Do you think Coach Fanning would let OT Megan coach the rest of the game? I think it can't hurt to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Did the chat give you any Mike Keller versus John answers over there? Oh. Um, uh, no, not yet. No, okay, then now they're starting to come in. It's got to be John Bowles. 12 John Bowles feels terrifying. You walk into to the mall with 12 John Bowles, that feels like a good time. Say, bro could probably block Wemby. <laughs> Isn't he a little light? Ooh. Brown Jr. on top. All right, I got another question. For you. Talk to me, Tom. OT is in Atlanta, right? We have an arena here. It's beautiful. We got practice courts. We got classrooms. We got apparel. The we, got, we got everything that you could humanly possibly want. It's my favorite place in the whole entire galaxy. But if I had to pick up the arena and place it anywhere but Atlanta, Georgia, where are we, where are we building another OT arena? And in the chat, please tell us, what city, state, country should we build another OT arena? I'm going to say Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York. I'm going to say Brooklyn, New York. I'm going to say Brooklyn, New York. Or, or, can I throw another one out there? Of course. I'm going to say Venice, California. Okay. I like it. Because, I like it a because lot. Because there are great pickup games in both of those cities. You know, those are those are two great basketball cities. Oh, yeah, I'm out on New York, even though I live in New York. Out on it. I'm out on it. I would love... Where are you putting it? Miami sounds nice. Miami does Miami sound sounds nice. Miami super nice. Um, do we want to go outside the country? Maybe, uh, I don't know. Sao Paulo? Okay. We're, we head to Brazil with the, with, uh, That's Hainan what I'm saying. And Calderon. <laughs> Hainan, Samis. I'm sure they would love to have OTE in Sao Paulo. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like we gotta, we gotta have a great time. But you know what also is a great time? The OTE regular season officially begins with GMC opening night December 1st. Jelly Fam versus City Reapers and the Cold Hearts versus RWE begin their campaign for the coveted OTE championship. Which future stars will turn their dreams into reality? Find out how the story begins December 1st, 7 p.m. Eastern, exclusively on Prime Video. That is gonna be the best night of the year, in my opinion. Can't wait, Whoa. I'm not taking anything away from the takeover. Right. But opening night will be a legend. Well, look, GMC opening night last year brought us Rob Dillingham. And as we see Cannon catching, well, we saw a three, we saw a three from Word of God finally. Michael that might Williams. Been, that might have been the first time they, that's the first time they scored in a minute, so we had to show a replay of it. Um, but hey, last year the GMC opening night was when we saw Rob Dillingham yep. play, suit up for the checks. Blue Checks, drop Big Nate score a billion points. We had Jerry McCain here. We had a ton of superstars out here. So to level up this year with Jelly Fam coming in the building, RWE in the building, we'll have Cam Wilder and Nelson in the building. I can't wait. You'll be here. I will be here. Yes. I will be here. So make sure December 1st, start off December the right way with OTE opening night. We'll have Jelly Fam for the first time, the New York City team coming down. And if, if they won't be here, then, I'll, then I will be sad. <laughs> Tom, we have a 26-point ball game with 45 seconds up. Hey, we if do. you're a real one moving? and you're still watching, <laughs> drop a thumbs up in the chat that you're an OTE ride or die and you're still tapped in for this matchup Cat here. Catfish Box wants us to build the next arena in Detroit. Interesting. It sounds cold in the winter. That's all I'm going to say. Money Making June says, no, I've never been to New Orleans. Ooh, love New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, I know love that's your spot. I'm going to New Orleans in a couple months, actually. Z Lyric says, Dallas, Texas. I think that might be Kieran. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's definitely, that's Kieran in his undercover account. Yeah. In Texas, we do have Nelson Newman. We want to go to Arizona, we can chill with Cam Wilder a little bit more. We got a good group. Speaking of Nelson and Cam, we saw RWE last night. Uh, we haven't, they, they have that off day today. Wait, why isn't Nelson playing for RWE? Nelson, uh, he's too good. That, uh, you know, I had a feeling. Yeah, he said, he I also said he's a package deal with his brother Niles and Noah. Okay. Um, and LeVar, so if you, you gotta take all four. We don't have enough spots. <laughs> we don't have enough spots. So Nelson, uh, he also said he wants to play for himself. He said, I don't want to coach. So that made things challenging. The player coach. Yeah, so he also demanded a $5 million contract. Yeah, we could afford that. Which also was challenging. So there's a lot of things that Nelson needs and that Nelson does as Michael Brown throws it up to end the third quarter. The Cold Hearts lead 58 to 30.
two. Another big quarter for the Cold Hearts. Um, uh, Holy Rams, this is going to be a tough one, man. I'm sorry about that. But great third quarter. On the flip side, we're going to hear from Sniper Jones. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Much love. Metal had to walk off and spit out his gun, but he good, though. Hey, y'all took care of business yesterday, bro. Talk to me about the game. Oh, yesterday, we had a really good game yesterday. We played as a team. Um, we was talking. We was bringing each other up. Y'all won by like 100, bro. So y'all did more than just take care of business. Y'all won. Y'all had a dominant win. We stood on business. That's what it was. <laughs> we took care of it and then stood on it. So now it's preseason, but that's a great way to roll into the actual season. So what's your thoughts on the season? What y'all thinking? Uh, I feel like we ready. I feel like we just got to... <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah just called him ugly. What you got to say about that, bro? You got to fight back. Yeah, me and, me and Jeremiah are going to see each other in the locker room. That, it's, it's up. It's up. But, but about the season, though, you said you're looking forward to the season. What else? Uh, yeah, I feel like, honestly, going to come with the chip. I'm going to tell you this, though, bro. I need to, I don't care when you do it, what time of the season, I need an end game dunk. You already knew it was coming. How you know? Because that's what everybody's saying. I need one, too. You're a fan favorite at OTE, bro. Everybody love you, man. Like, how does, like, how do you feel about the embrace you get every time you come here? Um, it, it actually feels great, like, because it wasn't always like that. So, like, everybody looking up saying we want Melo, all that, it feels great. That's tough, man. Good luck on the rest of the season, bro. Appreciate you. Man, I would pay a billion dollars to have Romelo suit up for the rest of this fourth quarter. We got a blowout, so that means we have to play my favorite game, the Overtime Warhead Challenge, a world-famous game. Uh, shout out to Warhead. We are going to pop a Warhead in our mouths right now, Look, see how sour it gets. I don't know if you've ever heard broad broadcasters call a game with Warheads, <laughs> uh, but here we go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, oh, my god. The green ones are the hardest. Dude, I forgot how sour this is. When's the last time you had Warhead? Like, years ago. Yeah. I have one every day when I wake up. Do you really? Yeah, first thing. <laughs> my, eye, my eye is twitching. I, you know what we should do? The cold arch have to eat a warhead for the rest of the game. Uh, how are you not <laughs> making any faces? Did we take something, two different ones? No, it's my jaw, man. It's the jaw. What the <laughs> <laughs> I think someone should slip Coach Manning a warhead. All right, <laughs> so Tom. Yeah. Tell me about, because you asked me about the eight. Wow, this is sour. You asked me about <laughs> my favorite of the eight teams, OTE. Yeah. I can't even get my words out. <laughs> Who's your favorite of the eight teams? Well, we got eight great teams. Like we said, the Cold Hearts, City Reapers, RWE. Cannon Catchings. He's not a team, but he, but, he had, but he had a hit three. Um, so we got uh, RWE, Cold Hearts, City Reapers, YNG Dreamers, Blue Checks, Jelly Fam, Rolling Loud, and the diamond dumps, but my favorite has to be New York City's own Jelly. Jelly. Fam. Shout out to Isaiah Washington, Javon Quinterly. Um, you guys just started Jelly Fam, you know, seven-ish years ago. Yep. Bringing it back with Ian Jackson. Anyone who remembers Coach Pete, one of my favorite coaches. So I would say my favorite team that I'm gonna be rooting for is Jelly Fam, just because from New York, they got a great vibe. They kind of they wake up every morning, 7 a.m. for lift. Then they're playing basketball from 9 to noon. Then they have class. Ian Jackson on their team works out at 3 a.m. every single night, which is super bizarre, but it's something I learned the other day. You mean day. every morning? Every morning, yeah. So <laughs> I got to go with Jelly Fam. RWE a close second because I love Cam. I love Nelson. I love the guys on that team. But for me right now, it's got to be Jelly Fam. I think Jelly Fam is going to end up being my favorite as well. Just being a New Yorker, I just haven't seen them play yet, though. That's right. all. That's all. By the way, that first minute with the Warheads was really bad. Now it's great. Now it's it's perfectly fine. <laughs> that first minute was tough. Um, a big a big drama thing that we haven't mentioned yet on the broadcast that I have to bring up as Word of God hits a three and cuts into an 18-point game, which is pretty cool. Well, first, before we talk about this big thing that I have to talk about, mm -hmm. the biggest thing of the day, 
I want to remind everyone, the fourth quarter here at OT is 12 minutes long. For this reason exactly, you can have a comeback of a 25-point game in a 12-minute last quarter. So our first three quarters are eight minutes. The fourth quarter is 12 minutes. So Word of God's got some time if they want to make a comeback. Let's get to crunch time faster yep. and then extend crunch time as long as possible. All right, now can I tell everyone about our, the big thing that's going on right now? I'm ready. So... These is, this, today has been so fun. We broadcasted a couple games. It's been a great weekend. We got Sniper, we got Megan, we had Kieran here yesterday, we have Dylan Harper's family, Ace Bailey. It's been awesome. But we live in New York City. We do. And we have a flight to catch at 6.45 p.m. Eastern. Dude, I think it's 6.30. Mine's 6.45. I don't know about you. Are it we is, not on the same one? It is currently 5 p.m. So if this game goes any longer, I will miss my flight, and I will be in Atlanta for another night, which is not the end of the world. We love Atlanta. Oh, wait. No, I'm, I'm on the 630. Where are you going to? I'm going to LaGuardia. Where are you going? I am. Are you I going really, to JFK? I think I am going to JFK. Dude, you know better than going to JFK. JFK is the worst. Anyways, in the chat, do you think we're going to make our flights? No, I'm going to Newark. 640. You're going to Newark. Newark? Yep. Look, I'm doing the math here. My flight leaves in an hour and a half, boards in an hour. Yeah. We're half an hour away from the airport. We have no shot. Why do we think we I'm, could do I'm this? close to giving the headset to Megan to call the last couple, uh, last okay, couple so, minutes. Okay, so here. here's the issue. We thought the games were going to be done by 5 p.m. Yeah, we did. We did. Man. Speaking of overtime, Megan, she's down there with Sniper Jones. Sniper, can you ask her if I'm going to make my flight and she can pull any strings for me? So, Megan, the guys of the broadcast team want to know, can you help them make their flight? We know you got some pool. Can you help them make their flight at all? Make their flight? Yeah, it, it sounds like they're going to miss their flight, which is hilarious. Their flight is in approximately, like, one hour. I think it boards in, like, 30 minutes, honestly. They're not making it. They still got their headsets on. They're still working. So, I mean, where, where else do you want to be? Look, he's looking at me right now. You can't even see him over there. They're calling me out, but they're not making the flight. But there's no place I'd rather be than OT, so. I was about to say that, guys. you probably not going to make your flight, but there's no place I'd rather be. You, you got some amazing seats right now. The Cohars are literally crushing this team. Is there any chance they can come back? These are my children, and no, they cannot come back. It's 4365. Seven's got a thousand billion points. They are great chemistry. Great. Call them your kids. These are your kids. These are my kids. These Ask are my Megan how to pronounce her last name. And got 20 name. right now. He's young, but he's balling. What you like about this game? Honestly. He's really clean with this game. He doesn't play dirty. Like, he really just knows what he wants to do. He drives it right to the hoop, and he has, like, a really great way of making his plays. He has a great skill set, and so I just love the way he plays. Okay, so the guys who broadcast want to know, do you know how to pronounce Adam's last name? Hey, yo, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> right to y'all at the booth, man. We just gonna call him Ayo. Hey, Ayo, hey, oh, Sean. Man, that was you amazing. You, Mr. Kingston. I was thinking, what do I got to do to get a private jet? Uh, we need to get, like, that Tony Romo broadcaster money. That's what we need to do. Big Jaden Quaynes with a monster dunk. It's shocking that no one's ever broken a rim here at OTE. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking at Sam, though. I think Big Jaw's got the best chance, but Big Jaw's also looking pretty slim, but he's so strong. Cannon fires Gavin. off the mark. Sadis gets a little offensive rebound here. We got eight minutes left, and we got about 90 minutes left until our flight. <laughs> Adam O. Adam O's at 20 points right now. Make it 23. Crowd going wild down there on the on the opposite baseline. Love to see. Oh, they got him right there. Look at these guys. Yeah, Adam's on top. Like he's, he's just one of those nights. One of those nights. Adam. Umi dude. Hey ref, no more fouls. <laughs> Look at this dunk by Jaden. Do you think he called bank here? No. No chance. Although, when he banked it in, far less talking going down the court. I love the kids in the background getting hyped for it. We got the overtime shirt. We got some nice drip down there. Definitely Cold Hearts fans, which we love to see. Hey, I got another random question for you. We're heading into a timeout right here. Talk to me, Thomas. So, first we're going to listen to Coach Fanning. <laughs> Say it again. First, I'm going to listen to Coach Fanning. Yeah. You good, P? You good, baby? You good, you good, you good, you good. You good. All right. Coach Fanning not saying anything interesting. Okay. So, OTE, only been around three years. We've yep. had awesome players. Amen and Asar Thompson. We've had Rob Dillingham. We've had a lot of top, top teenagers play in our league. But 
if it was around 10 years ago, 20 years ago, if you could pick one player in all of history to have been an OTE player, who do you think would have been the best OTE guy when they were younger? Oh. I know wow. my answer. Everyone knows my answer. I'm going to say... Wait, can I go? How far back can I go here? I mean, keep it in the vicinity of my age. You want Allen Iverson to be an OT I, Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> See, he couldn't. One of the best high school football players of all time. True. Yeah. Great. By the way, great high school football mixtape. Yeah. Amazing. Um, can I can I also go with uh, maybe like AD? Is that kind of a weird answer? Anthony Davis. Yeah. No, it's a good answer. Yeah. But you're wrong. Oh, the what's only the right answer? answer is Lamelo Ball. Lamelo Ball would have been Wait, the. Wait, who? LaMelo Ball would have been the best, and he would Wait, have came who? with his brothers, the best player of all time, the athlete that built this arena with his bare hands. LaMelo the house Ball, that LaMelo built. Yes, exactly. LaMelo Ball would have been an incredible OTE player. He's awesome. He's got talent. He's funny. He's interesting. Snipe, I think he should get a statue, even though uh, he didn't actually play here. Snipe probably thinks LaMelo is better than Michael Jordan, too. LaMelo will be better than Michael Jordan. That's why Michael Jordan drafted him on the Shire Hornets. <laughs> it's the la is it the last person you ever drafted? I don't know. Um, might have been. Last draft class, maybe? Snipe, what do you think? LaMelo being better than Michael Jordan, that, that's kind of out of hand. <laughs> Come on, man. Wait, what, what, what they won't tell you, he thinks that Ron Baker might be the best player in basketball history. Keep that in mind. Okay, all right, all right, chat. Chat, if you weren't with us last night, I know a lot of you were, but if you weren't with us, my man, Sniper Jones. My good friend, Sniper Jones. Who knows ball? He is a ball knower. He had never heard of Ron Baker. Two-time Final Four, I don't want to say participant, but a star on Wichita State. Right. Back-to-back -back Final Fours. I hate him. Yeah, I know you hate him, but Ron Baker has gotten way no. Ron Baker has gotten way too much play on these broadcasts. Okay. Jane Quaynes with another dunk. Jake Quintons, man, maybe just don't leave Atlanta. Maybe just stay here and, and join one of our Atlanta teams. Maybe, you know, I'm not going for a transfer or anything, but I am. If Jaden Quintons could be on one OTE team, would uh, you put him on? It can't be RWE because they have Somp, though. I'm going to say... What about this team? What about put him on the cold hearts? Nah, that feels unfair. I think City Reapers need the most help. They... You got Big Job, Bryson Tiller, and Jane Quintons in your front court. That's pretty massive. What, what about the expansion team? I mean, I'm an M. Um, you know what? Jelly Bam could really use another big. Okay. Yeah. They have two right now. This guy's solo. Oh, and they got wow. Iommi. I, I thought the hand went down, the ball went down. Coaches go yell. Go crazy. Yeah, Sammy, go. Come on, my man. Yeah, do exactly what you know. John Bull was there. You still want me to still go? Can't let it work, man. Knock him down. You can see he's playing one on one. Yes. Give me the first one right first, buddy. Yeah. Animated coaches. Cool. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, think? Yeah. We good. We Very good. animated. Hey, which one of these coaches is more your style? One, big dog. I do love Coach Fanning. Yeah. I'm going to have to go with Bob. Damn. No, what? Coach just, Banning? But just look at the size. You don't think Coach Banning is like a black belt? Help me, man. It wouldn't surprise me. Coach Banning definitely knows, like, he's one of those people that can look at you and you, like, show. But Coach Banning's giving up probably four or five inches. Bro, that guy, he runs 90 miles a day. Do you see what he was drinking on Friday? That was disgusting. Fun, no, he's got, finished there. Fun fact for everyone, yeah, Coach Banning yeah, yeah, yeah. every morning drinks spinach and water and just crushes oh, it up. Come on. That was spinach, orange juice, and there was something else. Do you know how too. nasty of a human you have to be to drink that to start? Well, it was like a borderline liquid. It looked like he got like pond water and put it in the glass. You want to know what else is nasty? Our first big bonus. We need a sound when the big bonus happens. This is the big bonus. We need the bad boy. Tell me about the big bonus. What do we got? Every non-shooting foul after the fifth, you get a one-man advantage. It's really a two-man advantage. Yeah. Then we got one guy trailing behind. You see that's Michael Brown right there, who yeah. left too early. I guess we have a whistle for another reason. 
I told him to go to the yeah. He don't speak English. Hey, These refs are dying for us to miss this fight with how many stoppages uh, we've had. Uh, do you want to know one how one the big goes. bonus name was created? Instead of one one that feels like a title. Right it was. It ah, was indeed. On, so the big bonus, as we see right here, three-pointer from the corner, misses, out of bounds. Um, there's just a reminder on the big bonus, you get 14 seconds to score and the shot clock never resets. So even though the ball went off the rim there, they only have five seconds left here to score. Um, so it's still five on four. Yes, as Samis will still stay in the corner. Very interesting rules in the big bonus. Go, go, go. Turns. Bang. Um, so the big bonus name. We didn't know what to call. We came up with this great rule. Right. Awesome, super fun, but we had no name for it. So we ended up writing about 500 names on a whiteboard. And as a joke, we screamed, a few of us, big bonus, and it stuck. We never changed it. So shout out to the big good, bonus. It's a great good, name. Good. If you have a different name, put it in the chat, but I like big bonus. Should we change the name of the big bonus? No. Chat, if you have a better option for the big bonus, Write it down now. And then over time, Sam is going to take very good notes on it. Um, okay, okay, okay. It's a 20-point game, five minutes left. If you had to start an OT franchise, so now you've seen RWE, you saw the Colors, you saw City Reapers. We talked a little about the other five. We got a new draft today. Mm. Things are happening. Everyone's going to new teams. Who's the first pick in the OTE draft? He goes by the name of Mr. Carter Knox. Interesting. And Interesting. by the way, with the second pick, I'm taking Samto. And they're both on RWE. Interesting. It's funny how that happens. Yeah, I mean, Carter Knox is definitely a good option. Top five player in the country. Who are you taking? Samto. You got Ian Jackson up in Jelly Fam. Of course. Top 10 player in the country going to North Carolina. Also just a great guy. I think Hanon, who we're not seeing tonight for the Cole Hearts, is awesome. If you want to go younger, yeah, you're, but you're not taking Hanon over Carter now. You're building a franchise, maybe, and you want to go younger and take a, a junior like uh, Michael Brown at the line, maybe. Start start young. You would be a high pick, but I, I'm still not, not over uh, Carter or Sam. I think the guys down on the blue checks, Rockies Passmore, Kansas Commit is a good option. Okay. But Eli Ellis, the best mm. shooter in all of OTE, and maybe the most hated and most loved. So there's a lot of options. I like the Carter Knox selection. But, mm, with the first pick in my fake OTE draft, I am selecting Cam Wilder to be my owner. Wow. And make the rest of my selections. I think he's that big of a, of a difference maker when it comes to You're forming a team. You're going for the club. No, I'm forming a team. And I think Cam Wilder is who I want to help make the rest of my team. Cannon catchings up to 10. Come on, why are we calling timeouts? I mean, this Dude. just feels like punishment. You're, you're not making it. Someone tell Coach Fanning that my flight boards in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm curious in the chat. Carter Knox, Sompto, Ian Jackson, a lot of options. Let's check out the huddles real quick during this timeout break. You, he can't stand in front of you, but they help him. Look at, look at me, Doc. Look at me. He definitely can't check you on the move. You know what I mean? Swing around about four times and watch some good happen. Yeah, we're gonna get back to you. Little, 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 Cannon, you're in that corner. Kale, come down here. Cannon, you're looking for the back cut. Sammy, you're there. Jeremiah, you're strong side. See if you, Jaquel, see if you got a Cannon on the lob. All right? All right, let's go. Let's go, guys. Hey, finish this game well. No fouls to give. Pick and rolls are red. Together, dog. Three, one, two, three. Together. Kale, you know what I'm saying? Push it, push the pace. Push the pace. Push the pace. Thank you. Hello, Coach Williams. Can you hear me, man? Uh, yes, sir. This is a tough one. We're down 20. What do you got to focus on these last four minutes? You know, make sure you leave Atlanta with, with a good taste in your mouth. At this point, we just want to get better. Come on up, Bo. Look. Come on up high. The higher the better. The higher the better. 
Now, Coach, obviously this is the start for this season. What do, this whole season that you have, what are you kind of looking forward to? What are some big things that, that we got to check out for the rest of the year? Oh, uh, man, we got a, we got a uh, packed schedule, man. We're going to be playing back down here in Atlanta, I think, against Kentwood out of um, top 25 teams. We're going to face the um, Cold Hearts again in the John Wall with a May um, Hoops event in um, Louisville. Uh, we got a tournament at the beach. So you'll play cold, the Cold Hearts again? Yeah, the John Wall, yeah. Yep. So are you kind of like, this is a preseason game, doesn't really matter to you, or are you kind of just waiting for that oh, one? Oh, you know, man, we got the call. We, we was totally unprepared from top to bottom. We got the call about five days ago, but, man, you know, we couldn't turn down the opportunity to come to play at the beautiful OTE facility, man. So. Yeah, before, before that John Wall Classic, though, that against the Cold Hearts, I was hurt. We were going to try to set up a fight between you and Coach Stop, stop here, stop here, stop here. I'm, I, I would like to fight him. He keep beating me, man. I would love to fight him. <laughs> <laughs> move it, move it, move it. Come through. That, I would love to fight him, man. He can't keep beating my butt, man. You know what I mean? But he, he's pretty, he's in shape, coach. He works, he works oh, on man, it Oh, man, he lot. do good, man. Uh, coach <laughs> Fanning, man, he's a really good coach. Man. Really, really. Man, I, I'm, all your coaches down there OTU, man, but um, he done had the most success against me, man. I, I, so, I love, it's a love-hate relationship with me and um, coach. Of course, and now you, you've you been around the around OT a lot. You saw the City Reapers last night, you got the Cold Hearts now. Who do you think, of the teams you've seen, who's the best team in OT right now? Who do you think the best team? Yeah. Uh, it, it, you know, it all depends, man, because you still got um a couple players that out. Um, I'm with you know, the Reapers did a good job last night, but I really like the Cold Hearts. I'm a big fan of Mattel Brown. Just the Coach Fanning, you can hear Coach Williams now as well. How Coach Fanning, uh, Coach Williams said he would fight you before the next time you guys play if you want. No, they're trying to start something, man. We're, you guys, we're you guys are professional. They're trying you to start something, Coach. You speaking English, man? You guys are going to play again later in the season. I think maybe a fight beforehand might uh, be nice. Oh, word of God? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, no, we don't need a fight. Oh, man, we're going to keep it we're going to compete. Anybody we play Come on, Jake, you get out wide. Get out wide. Get out wide, Jake. Are you ready? That's great. If they can play with make us for 40, now. Make a pass. That's great. If not, then it, it is what it is. Coach Fanning, what are you most excited about that you've seen from your team today? I think they're starting to play together, and I think they're starting to buy into some of the stuff we're talking about on defense, of just like really being connected on defense and playing team defense, in addition to having like one-on-one -on -one responsibility. I see some guys um, taking a lot of pride in their defense with my life, and then offensively, I think we're sharing the basketball, which is hard. Um, you know, all these guys are coming from a place where they were the best player on their team. And so now learning how to play with other players is a very important part of their development, and I, I think today we've seen some progress compared to previous games. Awesome, Coach. Great job today. Coach Banning and Coach Williams, two of my favorites. We'll see you guys in a little yeah. bit. Enjoy the rest of the game. Huh? Do you think I pushed it too far with those two? Uh, I think you could have even pushed a little bit further. What if they both bite me? Then I'm, I'm here to defend you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Coach Williams, and Coach Banning in a uh, cage match. All out melee. That sounds pretty exciting. Okay, so now we're already talking about fighting, which I bring up probably too often. But if you had to pick one OTE player to be an MMA fighter, mm. you know, that's a sport. It's not about anger, it's about right. it's just it's a sport. Ooh. Mm. I'm going to think about that. Yeah, think about it because while you're thinking about it, I got to tell you about something important because you got to mark your calendars. The OT takeover is happening November 17th and 18th, two weeks away. We got the Cash App Dunk Show, State Farm King of the Court, Trey Ball Challenge, and All Star Fives. All the OTE stars will be here that weekend, not just Atlanta guys, we'll have Ian Jackson, Eli Ellis, and the rest. So make sure you click on us on Prime Video. Go to Prime Video and click on OTE and subscribe to the OTE YouTube channel as well to check it out. Uh, Trey Ball Challenge, Dunk Show, King of the Court, Five on Five. It's our, it's basically like the NBA All-Star Weekend. Just a little bit more fun, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, you told me that the Dunk Show is your favorite thing in the past, correct? I love the Dunk Show. I like King of the Court. A lot of trash talk. Everyone thinks they're the best one-on-one -on -one player in the world, and most of them are not. Look, I, I, I think Eli Ellis has to be a favorite. Eli Ellis is a favorite. He definitely, he won one of the events last year. Bryson Tiller has won in the past as well. I, uh, Ian Jackson, I think, is going to be really, really tough. Captain Jack. Um, in King of the Court. And some of these new guys, like Adam O. Mm. Awesome. Mm. But, Eli, I mean, I'm looking at, can we figure out a way where Eli and Isaac play against each other in the King of the Court Championship? Who wins that? Everyone's going to say Eli because he's bigger. But if you've seen OTE, 
the OT takeover before. A lot of it comes down to shooting, and Isaac is a slightly better shooter than Eli. You think? A lefty? I know. Oh, oh goodness. Uh, who's who's going to win? One thing we could add to the takeover is an MMA grudge match. Right. Uh, but we won't. But if we had to, who do you think is the uh, the MMA fighter? Uh, Peyton shooter? Marshall. Yes. Give me Peyton yes. Marshall. Oh, I love that pick. That's an electric pick. Because say whatever you want, but if you had to fight Peyton Marshall, nope. you would rather not. I would rather not. Like you said, we got one minute left. In the game, Cold Hearts are up 20 Chat, Chat, real quick, put up a prayer emoji for me trying to make my flight here. I'm about 100%. to call the fastest Uber out of here of all time. Now, guys, a couple things to check out this week. We won't be in Atlanta, but uh, the OTE teams will be in New York City playing in a tournament against some all-star players out in New York Let's this upcoming go. weekend. You can follow OTE on Instagram and TikTok to find out a lot more information as that as we see you on the last dunk of the game. The Hustle and Heart Classic, you can watch. The RW will be out there. I believe the City Reapers will be out there as well playing in, playing in New York City. Can't wait. And then after that, we got the takeover coming up. So a lot of things we're checking out. I want to, you guys really got to decide over the next week, who's your, who's going to be your team in OT? Are you rooting for Jelly Pack? Are you rooting for the City Reap? Cold Hearts, RWE, Rolling Lab. The list goes on and on. Pick your team because if you're just rooting for everyone, you're just going to lose. And also, and also, right, I was going to say, you can't just be an OTE fan. You got to have a fan of a squad. Yeah, you you got to pick chant, a squad. Like, you don't chant NBA. You chant your favorite team. Ooh, Adam, oh, dribbles it out. What a great guy because you know what? We're not going to talk to him after the game because he is the, my player of the game. Adamo, great job. 23 points. Cannon catches that 10 points. The Cold Hearts get a victory. 84 to 64. Day, great job, man. Hey, Had a lot of fun. Thomas, great job. How are you doing great on play by play? Thank you, man. I'm really working at it. Shout out to Sniper Jones, who is on Vibe Cam. Shout out to Overtime Megan, who joined us. Please make sure that you follow OTE on Instagram and TikTok. Find out a lot more. What we got going on? This is just the beginning. Beginning. Cold Hearts get the win. A great weekend of OT basketball. Make sure you subscribe, like, and we'll see you very, very soon. From Overtime Tom, Overtime Day. It's night. Peace. Peace.